Okay, good afternoon. It is three o'clock. I just stopped at Trader Joe's. I'm starting a two day trip later tonight. I don't have to be at the airport until 9.30 p.m. So I'm just running some errands. I'm gonna try to go home and take a nap. I'm just getting some groceries to make dinner tonight. So I'm gonna run into Target really quick, but first stop was Trader Joe's. And these two things, if you love the Bum Bum from Sephora, you will love this Brazil nut body wash from Trader Joe's. They have a body wash, body scrub, and a body butter. And they're all really, really good. I just got the scrub and the body wash today. Day. I told myself I was gonna stock up like every time I went to Trader Joe's this summer because this stuff is so good. All right, we just got to Seattle. It is 1.45 a.m. This is a new hotel for me. I've never been here before, but it is so beautiful. Beautiful bathroom. There we go. Oh, the ambiance and big windows over here too. So yeah, really pretty. Okay, good morning, y'all. It is 9.28 a.m. I thought I'd sleep in really late since we got here so late last night. I think I went to bed maybe like 2.30 a.m., but here I am. Our van time today is 4.30 p.m. We have a nice long layover, and I'm gonna get to see my friend John Mark today. He's here for a travel nursing contract, so I'm really excited to see him. I haven't seen him in forever. Also, we're gonna get home super, super late tonight. I think we get in at like after midnight for sure. This was a super easy trip. It's just a one one. So one leg here, one leg home. I just got these Dr. Scholl's tennis shoes from Amazon. They are really, really cute and they're supposed to be really comfortable. I've heard lots of good things about these, lots of good reviews. They are cushiony. The only thing is they are a little bit chunky to travel with, but if they're comfy to wear all day, then they're worth it to me. Hello. Aw. Which one is this? Winnie. Winnie. Man, out of the Awala too. That's good stuff. <laughs> Ooh, that's good stuff. Someone walked by and asked me what her name was, and I forgot. So I had no idea there for a second. So that was a little embarrassing, wasn't it, Winnie? But I remembered. I remembered after a second though. She's still mad at me for it. She wouldn't talk to me anymore after I forgot her name. <laughs> she was mad at me. All right, it is 4 p.m. on the dot. I've got 30 minutes. Cracking open a mini Alani new because I'm tired. I did wake up early and this is gonna be a long-ish flight getting home. So I definitely need a little bit of caffeine. But I'm pretty much ready to go. I don't think I'm even gonna like touch up my makeup and I'm just gonna throw my hair up in a clip. So yeah, I'm ready to walk out the door. I just need to pack up my stuff. But it was so nice to see John Mark and it was the most beautiful day in Seattle today. So I got really lucky there too. Morning. I'm having a second iced coffee this morning. I took NyQuil last night. I haven't been feeling very good. So when I take NyQuil the next day, I'm just useless. I'm just exhausted. So I slept in until like 11 a.m. I did get a lot of sleep, so that's great, but I'm just not feeling very good today. I'm gonna mix up a little emergency. Thankfully, I'm not working the next few days. I'm off today, and then I think I have two or three more days off. I started feeling sick yesterday, so I went to Target and just got a bunch of medicine. And I've just discovered these Vicks Vapo Shower Soothing Vapors. You just plop it in the shower with you, and the water steams it up, and you know, you know that feeling. You just breathe that in, in the shower. 
it feels really nice. So this really did help me. But yeah, I don't know. I just, I get sick all the time. Okay, so it is about 3.30 p.m. right now. Sydney's flight gets in around four and she's just gonna Uber over here. So I need to clean up a little bit more before she gets here. And I've also got some packages that I wanna open. I definitely don't order as much stuff online like I used to. Like I used to order a lot of stuff on Amazon and just do hauls and stuff in my vlogs. And I feel like I haven't done that. So a little nostalgic, a little fun. So I don't know if y'all have heard me talk about my Walla water bottle yet. Love my Stanley, but this is just not practical to travel with. And I had another Stanley that like had the handle on top and that one was definitely better for travel, but it leaked in my bag so many times. I ruined so many books. So I started traveling with in a Walla water bottle and it is leak proof like a hundred percent it has not spilled at all i was on a trip a few weeks ago and i left my water bottle in the galley and i was so so sad and i've missed having my awala so much so i bought another one and these colors are so fun and summery and i thought that if i had like a bright color that that i would be less likely to to lose it and then i got one other thing from target because i had to get one more thing to get free shipping so of course i had to do that because i'm just a girl i don't know how you say this brand but i've heard lots of people talk about this vanilla cashmere body lotion on tiktok they say it smells like a vanilla cupcake and I love vanilla smells. So vanilla cupcake ex is exactly what I would describe this as. It reminds me of the old vanilla bean Noel from Bath and Body Works. I've just been needing a new body lotion, so I wanted to try this one out, and it's really cheap too. And we also have three summer perfumes from Dossier. Dossier makes amazing perfumes, and a lot of them are dupes for high-end luxury perfumes. I've been very, very impressed with my Dossier perfumes. I don't know how they do it, but they make the most amazing, inexpensive perfumes. They have perfumes, colognes. They also have a genderless collection. So this one is part of the genderless collection and it's a Dossier original. This one is caramelized, lavender and hazelnut this this smells like what i want my house to smell like like it smells like a candle i love hazelnut too but i feel like i never get things that smell like hazelnut but this is really nice and these two sound like they're gonna smell like summer we've got fruity honey and aquatic coconut so fruity honey is inspired by joe malone nectarine blossom and honey cologne it smells like peaches and honey but it's not overwhelming like it's a subtle sweet smell and then the last one is aquatic coconut i also love coconut smells this one reminds me of the beach for sure like you know when you spray yourself with a sunscreen and you're like i wish i had a perfume that smelled like that does anybody else feel like that that's what this smells like to me and this one is a dupe for replica beach walk so we love that. If you have a luxury perfume that you love, definitely check out Dossier and see if they have a dupe for it. All of the high-end perfumes that I have that I have a Dossier dupe for, they smell exactly the same. They're super long-lasting. You truly just can't even tell a difference. Sydney is coming in a little bit, so we are gonna set up her bed. <laughs> okay we just got some mexican for dinner and now we're gonna watch revenge so the last time that sydney was here we were just like flipping through trying to find something to watch and i had watched revenge a long time ago i loved it and sydney had never seen it before so we watched we binged like seven episodes of revenge the last time she was here and neither of us have watched it since sydney got us these chocolates from uh tokyo these are the limited edition <laughs> cherry blossoms. We snagged the uh, limited edition sunny almond vanilla Nespresso's and Sydney wants a picture. <laughs> <laughs> How can I make this aesthetic? In front of the sign? Oh, of the bags? Yeah. Oh, okay. I feel like a little kid. Like we just got our toys and we're taking a picture to show our friends. <laughs> All right, listen to this one, y'all. Okay, so today, I'm starting a three-day today, and my report time was at 4.30. But we got delayed about an hour today, so I was like, oh, I'll call crew scheduling and see if I can get my report time changed so I don't have to sit around for an extra hour since we're delayed. Never had a problem with them doing that. Like, they always just change it. So today, I called and asked if I could have my report time changed, and crew scheduling said it has to be an hour or more of a delay to get your report time changed. Guess how much I'm delayed? 53 minutes, 53 minutes. If we were delayed seven more minutes, then I could have changed it. So instead now I have to sit there for an extra 53 minutes. 
Sydney's still here. She's on call. <laughs> I'm just making myself comfortable here. <laughs> We've been watching The Price is Right and we got Jimmy John's for lunch. And she was gonna go to the airport with me at 4.30 and now I don't know what she's gonna do because she's not even on call until three. Just thinking about it. to Vegas. It is 11.20 p.m. here. We have a painfully short layover here tonight. Our van time is at 9.07 a.m. But we have a cute little pool view. I haven't checked this closet yet. Okay, it's a little creepy. And then here is the bathroom. I've stayed here one time and I remember thinking that this bathtub, I've never seen a bathtub like so low to the floor. Like it's just, it comes up to like my shin. Oh, so I'm gonna change really quick and we're gonna go to bed. Good morning. I have an hour until van time. I think our van time is 9.07. It might be like 9.08 or 9. I'm not sure. Yesterday was a pretty easy day. We just did Dallas to LA and then LA to Vegas. And that second flight was only like 45 minutes. But we were delayed. So we got here pretty late and our layover ended up being only like 10 hours. So that's definitely a bummer. So I definitely did not get as much sleep as I would have liked. And today is a long day. We're going from Vegas to Dallas and then Dallas to Seattle. Then we do have a nice long layover in Seattle. My makeup is pillin'. It's not looking good. So I am fully submerged in the trenches of Kylie Pitt's TikTok. I didn't know who she was until people started posting about her. Um, if you don't know who I'm talking about, it's this girl on TikTok that just blew up. But I saw one video and like, I was like, oh, I don't really understand the hype. And then I started seeing more videos and I'm just fully obsessed with her at this point. I think she's so cute and funny and country and just, authentic and i'm just i really like her a lot so now i keep saying little phrases like in the trenches that she says and she has inspired me to post more content so i got my phone tripod over there and my camera tripod sitting on a stack of pillows and i didn't bring my food and in dallas i think we're switching planes but i don't think that we have much time and we're already delayed like 15 or 20 minutes. I'm gonna try to get something in Vegas, maybe like a breakfast sandwich or something that'll keep me full all day. I think they have a Starbucks in the Vegas airport. I didn't see it last night though. I hate when airports switch things up. Like in Nashville, we used to have a Starbucks and now um, it's gone. I don't know what it is now. It's like a bar. Like, why would you do that? I mean, they, there still is a Starbucks, but it's farther away from the gates that I'm always going out of. But when I get to know an airport and I know where things are, and then I show up and I go to where Starbucks is or where I know Chick-fil-A is, and it's not there anymore, ugh, that should not be allowed. Very glad that I have this Alani new. Juicy peach, I really need it today. Okay, we made it to Seattle. It is 9.54 here. So it's almost 10 p.m. here. It's almost midnight at home. I'm really not as tired as I feel like I should be. I'm having another slice of pizza for dinner. So we actually ended up having a little bit, not really a sit, but um, we had like an hour in between flights in Dallas today because we were delayed. Both flights were delayed. So we had a little bit of time. So I went ahead and got a pizza because I was like, I'll have some for lunch and some for dinner, but then I don't know, I wasn't really that hungry on the flight, but it was kind of a longer day. We had a passenger that had a bit of an accident. That's all I'll say. So um, I've never had that happen. Well, no, I have actually. I was a little stressful. Anyway, it wasn't really too bad of a day. My videos, I'm editing right now. I have my laptop right here because 
I've got to catch up. Been sick and just have not been doing anything and haven't been vlogging since I've been sick. So I'm really trying to catch up right now. But anyway, Seattle, I was just here last week and it was such a beautiful day when I was here last week, but today it was gloomy. And I don't know, there's just something really cozy about the gloominess here in Seattle. I don't know, I always feel like when it's a really nice day outside, when the weather's nice and I wanna lay over, I feel like I have to be outside. I feel like I should be doing something. But here, you know, when it's like this, when it's all gloomy, I'm like, well, I'm just gonna go to my room and eat my pizza. I'm just eating my pizza cold. I know there's a microwave downstairs, but I don't wanna go all the way downstairs. I just wish all hotel rooms had a fridge and a microwave. That would be so nice for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for bed, edit a little bit, and I'll see y'all in the morning, but I'm gonna start a new vlog and end this video here. So thank y'all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one.